is up awesome people shady wags here and since the best been update some of you have been asking me if i was going to update any of the star wars battlefront videos and i do apologize if i was kind of vague with you in my responses but i do receive a lot of messages from people saying this does not work or that does not work and to be honest i'm not sure half the time if they really are not working or if it's just someone who does not realize exactly how difficult it is to get master and unstoppable on these missions. It's really no joke. To get master and unstoppable, it takes some dedication. It takes plenty of patience. You're not always going to get it on the first try or maybe even the second or third attempt. And it quite possibly could end up costing you some cash because you have thrown a controller or broke something in frustration. I beat all of the original missions around six months ago and each the time the game has been updated a majority of those original strategies I posted have still held up the test a ton. I think since the release of the game I have maybe beat each one of these missions four times and I must be glutton for punishment because I'm gonna go back to each one of them again and see for myself what is working and what is not. I'm going to start with the hero battle on Hoth and the original strategy for this was to use the Emperor and to make laps around the outskirts of the map to constantly be moving, never stopping in an attempt to get those soldiers split up and then take them out one by one. This is still valid and I was still able to get Master and Unstoppable on the first try using this strategy. For the regular battle mission, the most updated strategy was to acquire a blaster cannon and make your way into the cave. Someone mentioned that the blaster cannons do self-destruct after a period of time. I did not experience this, um, but what you can do is when you have one guy left in that first wave, put down your cannon, fire it a couple times, and then attempt to grab another blaster cannon from one of those two spots close by. That way you have another one in your back pocket ready to go. It does seem that they are sending more soldiers from the right now uh, than they were before, but other than that, I was able to beat this pretty quickly on the first try. Hero Battle on Endor, the original strategy was to take Leia and move behind the rock at the end of the trail. Use her shield and her blaster power up, keep herself healed up, and then duck in and out behind that rock shooting the troopers. This still works and I was able to get Master and Unstoppable on the very first try. And since this works with Leia, it still works in the regular battle mission as well. Hero Battle on Solace, it was a similar tactic, take Leia and move up to the room on the top floor and use those same tactics as indoor from that room. This one still works as well and for the regular battle I went to that exact same room and placed down a blaster cannon and was able to beat both of these and get master in unstoppable on the very first try. Okay guys this is the nasty one. Hero battle on Tatooine. The latest strategy was to use Boba Fett and fly up to the top of the ship and shoot the soldiers, jump down, collect the tokens, and then fly back up. If you needed to, you'd fly down, pick up the health, and then fly back up to the top of the ship. I was able to get master this way on the hero battle and on the regular battle, but I could not get unstoppable on the hero battle. With the change to the hero health pickups, it was just way too difficult with Boba Fett. And in order to do it this way, you'd have to be really lucky or you would have to basically play a perfect game.
I do have a new way for you and this one is much easier. You're going to use the Emperor and you're going to do the exact same thing you did on Hoth. You want to lap this map getting all the soldiers following you and you're going to get them all split up and then you're going to take them out one by one. As you're doing those laps you just really want to watch the map and try to locate times when you see one or two soldiers that are isolated and go in after those then jump back out and continue doing your laps. The closer you are to the ship in the middle, the more danger you're putting yourself in while you're doing those laps. So anytime you feel like things are getting sketchy, just start making larger loops and keep yourself healed up. This is boring and it does take a long time. It's really going to test your patience and your gaming thumb. You're going to be sprinting a lot. There are periods of time where you may do three or four laps around the map and only get one token. But just keep doing those circles and constantly be using the charge to make distance. When there are more soldiers on the map, if you get into a situation where there are a group in front of you, just turn around and start doing laps in the opposite direction. Again, this does take a long time, but I guarantee you guys, you'll be able to get master and unstoppable this way. So that is all I have for now. I hope you guys found these tips useful. If you did, I really would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a good one.